New at 5.30, an effort is underway to save a zoo in Attleboro. So the pandemic made a tough financial situation at Capron Park even worse. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Chris Tanaka. I'm Paula Eben. Attleboro's mayor is pushing for more funding, but that might not be enough. And as WBZ's Jordan Jagelinzer shows us, zoo visitors are hoping, holding out hope that the place will survive. I mean, it would be a huge loss for the community. It's just a wonderful source of education. The Capron Park Zoo has been open since 1937, drawing in families like Christine Duquette's for decades. I brought my children here when they were little. On a beautiful spring day, taking the kids to the zoo feels like a no-brainer, but Capron Park has been facing financial trouble since the pandemic. COVID, like a lot of institutions, uh, hammered us. For the past three years, zoo director Lou Stevens tells us they've been trying to recover. 2020 was the worst. That was about uh, $470,000 lost. The eight acres saw no visitors for months during the zoo's shutdown in March of 2020, meaning no sales during their most popular time of year. Because we're entering that season now with schools being on vacation and the weather getting ni nicer, the season is picking up. So it was a big hit. Attleboro Mayor Kathleen D. Simone tells WBZ that $470,000 lost will now go back to the zoo through pandemic relief funding. They closed. And even though they were closed, the expenses remain, right? You have to take care of the animals. But the money is just a short-term fix. A new task force made up of city residents and zoo staff was created to evaluate and plan for the zoo's new future. Now what can we do better and differently to ensure that something like this doesn't happen again? She says the zoo brings in thousands of people to the city every year. People come from surrounding cities and towns just to visit Capron. The zoo has been with us for close to 100 years. It's way too meaningful and important to the city for many reasons to let it go. And families hope officials do come up with a plan so the zoo stays open for another 100 years. So it's pretty much like a big part for everybody. The new task force's first meeting to figure out how to keep the zoo around for another near 100 years is this Friday, April 14th. In Attleboro, Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News.